What's up, Growth Hacking Ninjas? Today, we're going to review Time Camp. This is basically a tool I highly recommend, especially if you work with freelancers. Um, I know a lot of you use Upwork.com to hire freelancers. And yes, Upwork has its own tracking software, but I highly recommend using a third-party software just because Upwork software is not as sophisticated as this stuff. And using this has been really easy to set up. Literally, like within 10 minutes, you're up and running. And then you can rely on this to um, not only track your employees and what apps they're using and all that good stuff, but also just like manage where you're spending time the most and stuff like that. And I found that almost every single one of my employees since I've set this up has no problem using it. Um, so that's a really good sign. I don't even give them instructions on how to use it. It's pretty intuitive. So yeah, this platform is called Time Camp and uh, you guys can check it out. Um, I do like to obviously include reasons why I prefer it over other competitors. So let's do that right now. So uh, their two big or their yeah biggest competitors right now are Toggle Track harvest and timely timely would probably be the one that i would say looks the most sophisticated right now um it is cheaper than timely so with timely it's 20 dollars per month for a user or 14 dollars for the premium um but in, in your case you would probably especially have multiple uh project or you have multiple like things like agencies and all that stuff you probably want the unlimited one so 20 dollars per user um, Harvest looks really old school, so I haven't used this platform yet, but I will check it out. You can see it's like super old school. It is the cheapest of them all, though, um, for $12 per seat. Um, actually, is it the cheapest? Oh, it's per seat. I didn't know that. They, they Sometimes they fool you with like unlimited seats, unlimited projects, but it's $12 per seat. Okay, so that's definitely not the cheapest, and it looks really old school. Um, time camp, let's check out the pricing. Uh, it's only nine dollars so time camp is the cheapest of them all and uh using it i would say it's one of the better ones now what makes them unique is that they have a desktop application um, which basically tracks from the moment your your employee turns on the computer if they want uh, all the way to when they shut it down it'll automatically stop the time so that's really useful um, especially if you have full-time dedicated uh, team members um, they also have a plugin uh, which i will show you guys as well and yeah so that's what makes them unique and again the use case of this is really just tracking your employees make sure that they're using the time and i'll show you why this is so important in a second um so when you log into the dashboard you're going to see something like this so this is for the month um seven people not all of them are tracking time um you'll be able to see stats like this so tools usage 88 percent average time per day so five hours um total time you're going to want to pay attention to the average time they're spending per day as well as this very cool thing so this is where the value lies you can see that <clears throat> My team members are spending on average way more time on Upwork. So for me, that's a little bit concerning just because they shouldn't be on Upwork. Maybe they're looking for jobs or stuff like that. So this is something that you as a founder will want to address. And this is again, where I see the most value in this tool and where this tool will really help me save a lot of money in the long run. So you can see second most application is Google Docs, which is great, MS Word. Um, private time is highlighted in red. So this is, I guess, when the, the team member stops the time or something like that or decides to hide the time. Um, so that's something that you can also inquire on. Skype is our primary method of communication, so that should be up there. YouTube, another one that's turned red. Um, unless they're learning, you might want to uh, dive into that as well. So I like this, that it does highlight um, all that good stuff. And again, it breaks it down per employee. So each one of these rows is per employee, and this is the average for all of them, okay? So anything that's highlighted in red is something that you probably want to probe into. Next, we can go to reports. So here you can see the, the name of your project. I've blurred one of them out. Um, and then all the different tasks that you've created within these projects and how much each person is spending on or how much they're spending on the time. And again, so many different filter systems here. But again, most of the stuff you can see directly on the dashboard. So if you're trying to save time, again, just check out the dashboard. Next, we'll go into projects. This is basically the second you buy this uh, program, you're going to use the link down below. You're going to come in here, and it's so intuitive. You can add a project. Um, so these will be the higher level ones like this. Scarfling is one of my scarf companies. Um, and then this. And then you can, within each one of these, you can add a task. So that's basically it. And then the freelancer or yourself will be able to log their time using the, the Chrome plugin, which I'll show you right now. OK, so when you click on the Chrome plugin, you're going to see this and then you literally just hit start. Um, so it's super intuitive. 
then you'll be able to select a task from all the different projects that you've created here. Um, and then you can add some notes if you want, like, hey, I'm doing this specific thing. And this is something that I recommend uh, my employees do is just add some notes so they know exactly what they're doing for the task. And then they can just hit start the timer. And that's as simple as it is. And then when they're done, they can just stop the timer. So that's it. Um, super intuitive, super easy to use. On the left hand side, you can also go into users. And this is basically where you're gonna, you're gonna invite people, you can invite them by email, you can add them to the project, and you can assign specific tasks as well. Um, there's so many other things that you can do here, you can also manage invoices, rates, projects, um, I believe you can also pay people. Um, one thing that is turned on uh, by default, I believe, is timesheet approval. So every time somebody wor uh, submits their time for the day, um, you as an administrator will go in and just approve their time and you can review it. I actually turn that off eventually. Um, I think as a, as a founder, you probably don't want daily notifications of all your employees to approve them. Uh, you can just probably review it at the end of the week. So here within the attendance section, you can see for this specific user, um, the first and last time of their entry, I, I guess this is on average. So that's pretty cool. You can see when they start again, depending on the time zone that you set up within this account. Um, you can see how many productive working days that they have um, use vacation. So um, you can set up vacation in here as well. Um, you can just do a lot more. But in terms of like my use case, uh, which is going to be majority of you just freelancers, you're going to want to leave most of the settings. And again, the ease of use of setting up a tool is one of the most important things. Simplicity is key with all these tools that we recommend. If it's simple, it's easy to use, you're going to want to actually use it. I've used time tracking software before I used two of them before I even reviewed this one. And they were just way too complicated for what I needed. So here under a computer time, you can go to activities. This is where you can dive into the actual things that were read earlier, like private time, I was wondering what private time is. So I literally just clicked on this help thing and went to their knowledge base. And it looks really, really sophisticated. And I just typed in private time and I found it immediately. So it looks like private time is basically the time that you allocate that allows them to basically do their own thing. So whatever, maybe they need a break, they go on YouTube or whatever, they can log their private time. And you can actually set how much private time they have uh, per day. So maybe it's like coffee time or whatever it is. And then they can see within the um, desktop or the I guess the browser maybe Oh no, it's the desktop app how much private time that they have left for the day. So it's pretty cool in that regards. Yeah, you can do so many other settings like limiting the offline time. Um, I won't get into all the details here in case you don't want to do that. You just know that they have an amazing FAQ, which you can see here very well laid out. So this is pretty cool. I'm just asking because um, I typed in screenshot just to see if they can do screenshots. Um, and then the live chat popped up. And the second I typed it in, um, they answered literally within the same minute. So it's super fast. This is how you know it's a really good company if they are actually answering your questions and how fast they answer them. In fact, when you do get a tool and you are on the free trial, always try to blast them with questions. Even if it's something that you already have answered, see how fast they respond. That's going to give you a good sense of whether you want to be investing in this tool because that's what you're doing. You're paying these companies to basically grow and scale and pay their customer support. So here we go. So it says, yes, you can install the desktop application and enable the screenshot module from the online portal. Okay, that's cool. Uh, where can I enable this for my team? And yeah, so that's awesome. I'm going to give this software a 4.5 out of 5 just because I haven't explored all the features. I'll be doing some follow up features as they get released and keep you guys updated. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you pick up this tool using the link below. Again, you're going to save a lot of time and headache if especially freelancers that fuck around uh, not to use curse words. But yeah, a lot of freelancers mess around as you can see, I'm going to be investigating why they're spending so much time on Upwork. And that's just an honest conversation that you can have with them. Um, at least now you know that they're tracking it that way and they can't bypass this you know what i mean this is all tracked even if they try to avoid it somehow like let's say they are deciding to go on upwork at least they're not going to log the time against your billable hours okay i hope that helped guys take care